Hello everybody, can we hear you alright? Can you hear us? Can you hear me okay? Let me just check that, because that's wrong spelling. Da, 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 da. Don't need that in the frame. Let's get rid of these bits and pieces somewhere safe. We've got a little pot to put them in. I've already got the modding bits, guys. We can get that in there. Put all the bits and pieces and screws so I don't lose them all in this little pot. These coil pots are so handy for putting screws and things in. Over you go, over there. Loud and clear, lovely jubbly. Right, let's get into it. My vape of choice today is the Skilly Swallow, uh, not Swallowtail, the Avea 66 with the, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. The Corolla V1.5. And I've got some 6 milligram, the last drop of 6 milligram Turkish uh, from Yalik. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we have in front of us is one of the common issues with the RXs. I'm not too sure about the newer ones, but the RX200, obviously not the one that is the DNA one, but this is the RX23. And they all have the Achilles heel. There is two thin wires, um, basically this little red one, and there's a thin black one, which is here on the on the battery sled and what happens is because the battery sled connectors are always moving in and out like so uh, the wires moving up and down all the time now what I usually do uh, when I repair these is I replace the wire with a silicon wire because this wire is not is quite st is quite stiff um, and what happens is because it's moving backwards and forwards backwards because it's so stiff what happens is oh, you need to get the brightness up a little bit don't we it's a bit um bit dull isn't it guys uh, is it that one no nope. is it that one give it a bit more brightness I think just bring the brightness up a little bit turn the contrast down a bit there you go you can see a bit better now guys yeah a bit better a bit better maybe bring it up a little bit bit again there we go see what I'm doing now there you go a little bit better there we are right so yeah you so this really thin twacky horrible cheap shitty wire they use and basically because it's so uh, solid when it's moving up and down it breaks no I'm using fluorescent lamp mate um, it doesn't like stuff it doesn't like stuff um, I need to get a, I've got my eye on some LED lights on the Amazon wish list um, to improve this I'm gonna make a little bracket so I've got um, either side of my camera I've got two lights either side of the bracket so I've got lights but I don't usually use them because they blare it out let's see what it's like if I put it on shall we there's one that too bright now you see I'm going to put the other one on FYI guys these are great only cheapies but they were I think it was two for something ridiculously cheap like £3.23 delivered so unplug my phone charger because I don't need that because my phone's a charger plug the other one in so it's too bright now I think just turn the bright gain down a little tiny bit. That's better. That's better. There you go. I just don't like the reflections. That's not good. Well, send it over, hun. Send it over. I can have a look at it for you. Yeah, that red wire is shit. But yeah. So it cuts that off. That, see, it's broken off there. Um, so we're going to have to resolder that back on because it's the uh, balance wire. I've already taken off the uh, black wire. Hey, Mr. JB, how are you doing? I don't know if you can see very well, but if we can get that close up, extreme close up on the on the on the uh, focus, should we? There you go. See, you got. Where's my pointy things? There's my pointy things. There we go. So as you can see here, you've got red one here that's the red one which goes to the top and then there's a negative um, wire as well I've disconnected the negative wire so I can get this out but basically this wire here I've got to put my focus back on again <laughs> get a bit closer can't we there we go get a bit closer in there we are this red wire here needs to connect onto there
so yeah I'm just getting the hang of this close up stuff I want to get some lighting directly above um, that's uh, diffused a bit better so that's another thing to do uh, pardon me burping away so we'll strip this back when I can find some wire cutters big thank you Mr Tony Roberts um, for uh, why is it gone why is the chat gone why is my chat gone the chat gone chat's died why is chat died what's happened I lost internet connection are we still here guys are we still working was it crashed was the stream crashed are we alright Hey up Pete. Test, test, test. See I have got this but it's far too thick for the boards. I need some, I've run out of my ultra fine silicon stuff. It's far, There's not enough room in there. It's going to get squished. Because I could replace it with that you see if I really wanted to be a fussy bastard. could replace it with that. Shall I replace it with that? That's too thick that, far too thick. Um, I've got any thinner stuff. Is that thinner than that stuff? I'm sure I've got some really fine stuff. Is that thinner? Might be better with a bit of silicon on it though. If I can get it in there. Uh, it's a bit too thick that far too thick for the job far too thick for the job anyway we shall get on and we shall give that I'm just gonna give it a quick spray and a clean because the uh, things are fucking filthy so I'm gonna be using this stuff it's called Servisol Super 10 switch cleaner obviously I'm not gonna do it on here because it's gonna get the board all piss wet through but um, yeah uh, technically it's the check battery it comes up with check battery on the mod um, common fault with the uh, Wizmex so I'm gonna use this it's switch cleaner it, brings all the crap off so we're going to just give it a quick spray around clear all the because it's full of juice as usual it's a typical Wismet full of juice we'll let that dry off over there somewhere for a minute give it a quick flick off making sure to hold the ends because if you don't hold the ends all the springs and stuff fall out <laughs> and you make a right mess let that dry off let that dry off I've got some toilet roll to glue toilet roll there as well give a quick spray on the back of the board to see what the board's like hang on I've got to take it off camera to do this guys actually the board don't look too bad for uh, crap on it just let that dry off a bit no juice on that side no juice on that side no, no juice no juice Quick spray in the uh, charge port while we've got it in bits, make sure that's nice and clean, which it is. There we are. Nice and clean. Yeah. While we're in it, we'll give it a quick clean with some toilet roll. Where have my bog roll gone? Emergency ship shit roll. And all being well, provided the chip hasn't shit its bricks, it will be repaired. Oh yes, it fucking will. Quick white round because it's filthy in here. I just thought I'd go live and do it for a bit of a giggle like you know there we go we'll just use the original wire I think because I'm not happy with the way that wire is but we shall see we shall get on with it and that's dried off where's my tissue gone give the give the old board the other bit of a wipe down get all the gunk off it and such I have got some isoprol alcohol somewhere but I don't know where it is do not know where it is. A quick wipe in here, get the damp out of it. It 
it was very much full of um, stuff it was this was so how are we all doing guys we all good yeah this belongs to one of the lads off um, Planet of the Vapes forums. I've got another one coming in as well, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that one, but we'll have a look. That one's a Segeli that the uh, charge port's gone on, but we'll see how we get on. Right, so we're ready to rock and roll. Today's Vape Review is my last question Andy Summerfield. Where? What question? Sorry mate, I can't follow the chat, I'm looking at what I'm doing. Use that switch cleaner on remote control boards for cleaning. Yes you can mate. Um, take your, take your um, remote control apart um, and then give a light dusting of it over the you know the, co the carbon contacts yeah, and then just wipe it with um, a cotton bud gently. <coughs> So yeah, what we've got to do is we've got to solder that red wire into that connector there, see it? So we've got to go into there. So, we're going to have to strip a bit off here. So have, had I have some of that ultra fine um, silicon stuff, that's far too thick to go on there. Um, if I'd have had some of the thinner stuff it would have been fine, but uh, it's a bit too thick. Alright, we need to turn my soldering iron on because my soldering iron's dying. So I have to turn it on, use it, and then turn it off again. Till I can get the pennies to get a new one. Big thanks to Tony for buying me some uh, solder off my wish list. Thank you very much, mate. Mr. Tony Roberts, e Tony's eSig Reviews. Solder tip all fucking nicely and uh, nicely done and dusted. Ready for another one. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. Uh, it's not that one, is it? Yeah, that one there. So if we can get a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. That's as far in as I can get, guys. I do apologise get the focus in there we go focus is in so what we've got to do we've got to tin this bad boy now got to tin this here bit of solder on there bloop like that bloop then we've got to get that wire in there somehow well this is the tricky bit it's easy for me to do it but getting so doing it so you guys can see what I'm fucking doing is another matter because it has to sit in a specific spot um, if you don't get it in the right spot, it doesn't um, sit right in the uh, thing. So we're just going to go like that and bloop. Make sure that's a good solder joint on there. Have to have a look. I have to have a look off camera to see if I've done it okay. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. So that then needs to sit in there like that. Pull these off what happens is that needs to go in this little slot here and that's the problem you see it's moving up and down all the time so with it moving up and down all the time it's causing issues with tissues there we go that's in there there we go lovely jubbly lovely jubbly lovely jubbly now what we need to do is get this back in here I've got to get those cables through because they've got to go in a specific spot so we need to bend them down a bit so they're a little bit more uh, accessible. They've got to come out the front of the board. You see that? It's got to go in at an angle like that. Those wires are coming out. That's good. That's good. Pop you in there like Silky the Silkworm's leather cod piece. Oh, I've got to put another uh, thing on there, haven't I? Hang on. Second. Where's that other sticky pad gone that I had a minute ago? Where have you fucked off to? There. Put that on there hold that wire in place sort of ish is that right no it sits there it does some work like that there we are 
Where's my tweezers before I stab my fingers? Pull that out of there for a minute. There we are. And that slips in there, like there, like that. That is back in. It's alright, dude. Honestly, mate, thank you for the offer, bird. Thank you for the offer, mate. It's fine. Um, I just use this one. I just have to switch it on and off when I use it. That's all. Um, all it is is the head's gone on it. Okay, Perro, take it easy. seconds guys In the health of the cast, guys. Oh, thank you, honey. Right, we'll start again. Right, so that wire there is not very good so we're going to get that one sorted as well so we're going to pull the solder off that particular joint there because that's the main battery lead to the uh, board there look so I'm just going to solder that so it, so the solder comes out of it I've got to take it off camera so I can get the solder out so I don't know where my solder suckers fucked off to <laughs> I can't even find my braid either there we go So what we've got to do now is we've got to get that wire there, that little red one, it's very very tiny just here, to go in there. This is where the uh, awkwardness happens. <laughs> so what we've got to do is get that wire there to go in, hey, you bugger. This one's always a fiddle to get in because it's, uh, it's the way it's shaped. solder needed on that Put loads of solder on and then just blob it and it'll uh, solder on then oh there you go it's a fucking twat of a one this one to get in it is a git it's a right git to get in because it's such a fiddly little uh, spot to get the wire in used to do is get it to melt and then once it's melted I just shove it in. <laughs> and we're in, I think. Are we in? Yeah I think so. Put a bit more solder on that and push it in with the soldering iron. It's the best way to do it. Just get it on the side so I can it's just awkward trying to do it so you guys can see it if you know what I mean. with that that's on yep that's on lovely jubbly my soldier line is dying quickly put that there like that 
and we are done on that score so now we've got to do all we've got to do is get this little um, balance wire back on yeah see that's all back in there now all nice and dandy and happy as Larry I think we are good on that score I think probably have to redo that after because I'm not happy with it but hey let's get this one on let's get this blob of solder on there like that get the tweezers back without trying to stab myself and then this little fella here needs to go on that one next to the red one so we'll get that roughly in place now you have to be careful around here because there's a lot of electronic components in the way and it's a pain in the backside to tell you the truth go that one's on turn me soldering iron off now before it goes into chronic meltdown so you have to use the temperature control stuff uh, you know, stuff like that yeah so there we go all the wires are on although I'm not quite happy with that well let me have a quick look off camera yeah that's all right it's not going to cause any issues it's on there it's got contact I might just put a bit of heat on there just to and a bit more solder just to give it a shoogle doogle. A bit of solder does wonders, guys and girls. A little bit of solder. It doesn't help that the shape of this mod's a pain in the ass either. There we go. That's better. Much happier with that. Yep. Should sit it down a bit back because if you don't sit it back, it shorts out on the board. So it's just a case of uh, reassembly that. Right, so let's put it back together. I think we should be alright at that. Bah. Pardon me. So we'll put the screen back on. Let's give it a quick wipe because it is a bit dirty. go right oh shit I've just dropped the fucking connector now hang on a minute I'll just drop the uh, buttons off it I'm gonna give it a blow then now comes the hunt to find the fucking switch buttons they landed straight in front of me somewhere I heard them drop amongst the crap I've got on the floor here for fixing bolts of that Hunt for the 
switches now. Huh? Not that they're black and the floor's black, is it? Uh -huh. Fuck's sake. when that happens you know it only happens to me when I'm on bloody camera this when I'm not on camera it never happens Always the way. Cheers, thank you. I'm all right, Tom, mate. This could take a while. Ah, spotted them. There they are. I found them. I found them. Nicely saved, James. Nicely saved. Turn my soldier iron off now before it burns. It shit burns out like. Take it easy, Pete. Everything's connected. Yes, it fucking is. Right, let's get these wires all nice and tidied out of the way now. If they're out of the way, nice and tidied. And they won't get in the way of anything. And it'll be all happy as Larry, won't it? Yeah. Right there, make sure that's not touching anything. That's wired on there. That wires on there nice and nicely. Nicely, nicely. That's all good. Right. Let's put it back together, shall we? Right, so we've got that one in there, those go in there, and then we want two screws for that, and then let's get the little screw pot, up, screw pot out. Come on, gold one. Gold one wants to stay in there. <laughs> Where is my Phillips screwdriver gone? Oh, for fuck's sake, and that's gone now. I was here earlier. Do you know something? I had everything all ready, and I've moved everything again. <laughs> Well prepared me. Where's my black screwdriver gone? The only bloody Phillips I've got. Ah, there it is. Got it. There we go. Do be do. Actually, let's come out a bit because I don't need to be that close now, do you? Come out to half. There you go. That's a bit better. Not quite as in your face now. So you've got six, seven screws in total. You've got these four here at the bottom. One, two, three, four. They kit, uh, two here in the middle hold just the faceplate on, and then the other two hold the faceplate and the battery box in, right? And then the top two hold the uh, battery box to the top. And then you've got a gold one which goes through there. There's a gold plate that's off the back. You see that gold plate that was on the battery holder before? And that's for the connection to the battery. I think it's the negative, if I remember rightly. But for this, we don't really need to know what it is. Because as long as it just as long as it goes back in the way it came out. Yeah, I think I've got something coming down. I've got a little bit of a blockage. I never thought I'd have had a few more people watching than that. Hey, well, fuck it. Oh well, at least you guys are uh, hardcore fans watching me. <laughs> yeah, next purchase is a new soldier and iron. Um, I spotted one on Amazon. It's about forty-five quid. Uh, all singing, all dancing, jobby. Because I could just buy a new iron head for this, but I know what'll happen. It'll just break again. So it's sort of like I might as well just get a whole new iron. You know, when you think it's about 20, 20 quid for all the bits to replace the um, the actual iron, soldering iron um, handle with the wire and all that, um, you can buy a whole new iron kit for like 45 quid, so we might as well get the whole bloody thing, aren't we? You know what I mean? The whole bloody, whole bloody lot. Do -do 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 -do. 
So that's all the main screws in. Now comes the fun one because this one might have to be done off camera because it's a right twat to get in the right spot. Um, you have to sort of get bend the plate first to get it to sit right, and then yeah, because because it's gold, it's oh, it's magnetic. Oh, it's monkey metal then, isn't it? Well, that makes life. The last few I've done haven't been magnetic, so in you go. Make sure that's nice and nipped up. Don't over tighten it, uh, but that gives you your negative contact. So now we pop pop the little rubber bung back in. Somebody's already been in this anyway, but looks of it. Put the little rubber bung in, and there we go. Right, let's see what it does now. These batteries are the batteries that came with the mod. When he sent it, he left the batteries in it. So ignore the state of those. Um, they need new, um, really, they need new stuff on the top. Right. Let's see what it does. Uh, batteries going in. That right way up. Yep. Yeah. Batteries are in. Give this back plate a quick wipe because a bit of shit in there. RX23. Plonky, plonky, plonky. Squiggy the donkey. And in. Are you clipped in? And it's on! Yay! You know how my eyes are found. Right, tank. Need a tank. Tank, tank, tank. Need something to put on here to test it. Make sure it works. Where's me friggin' hammock gone? Put me hammock down somewhere. Alright, I'll put this on it. Not 40 watts though. There you go guys, can you see that? All working. All happy as Larry. Yeah. Let's see what it does when I screw this fucker on it. Screw this on. Dooby dooby do. Don't want it on 40 watts. Knock it down to about 15 on this. Because it's quite pokey. Yeah, that works. Uh, got to twenty. I have this at about fifteen, sixteen watts there. Yeah. So there we go. One RX two three fixed that would have probably ended up in the bin. I like that's what I like more than anything is the fact that something's not going to go in the bin. I hate fucking waste like that. Two seconds, guys. I shall swap the camera so you can see me. Yeah. Two seconds. Else, you can't use the same camera twice. It's a pain in the bum. Don't like it. Um, camera is available. Don't lie. There we go. There we are. Let's turn these bloody stupid bright lights off. They're in my face. I don't like it. There we are. There we go. Right, I can bring you, bring yourselves back over here. Make this up. There we go. We're back up top. Yeah. All working. Yeah, thanks. It's all done. It's working. That can go back to the customer. So yeah. Pardon me. I can now message him saying it's all fixed and I can get it back to him. 
really I would have liked to um, have re um, recovered his batteries for him, rewrapped his batteries and put new um, insulators on the top but I ain't got any so that's that one out of the fucking thing. Uh, no I don't think he is mate um, I did message him earlier but um, I think he's uh, out or whatever Hello bunny, you know it's mad. So yeah, that was a quick repair. Seems to be working fine. 0.59 ohms, it's reading the right ohms as well. Bloody hell, that's cheap mate. Temp control line, 18 quid, can't be very good though. See mine's, um, if you excuse all the fucking mess, that's the one I use at the minute. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's the one I use at the minute over there, look. Um, all singing, all dancing with a hot blower and everything on it. I just fucked up my webcam now because it's all out of cock. Yeah. Not that far. You want it about... There, that's good. That's good. Oh yeah, I love I love this tank, this Corolla. Love it, mate. Love it. How's your wrinkly bits? <laughs> Everyone's a fucking critic. Big thanks, Stu, by the way, for that. Thank you, mate. Most appreciated, Mr. Niven. Much appreciated. Cheers, thanks, Hern. Morning, Bam Bam. You missed the show, you missed all the excitement. What I'll do is I'll put his batteries on charge for him and I shall send it back. Yeah. So who are you, Quattro Quattro? Because you obviously know Deluxe. Quattro Quattro. Feast of Stew, bunny, bunny, stew, stew, bunny. You got the iron out, did you, bunny? <laughs> yeah, so if you want me to have a look at any mods you've got, just um, drop me a message on Facebook and, and uh, we'll sort something out. Yeah, not a problem then. Also, if you've got something that um, you think the isn't isn't very happy, I can I can quite easily uh, turn it into something else. You know, if the board's okay in it, you know. <gasps> Bunny wasn't subscribed to my channel. <gasps> Thanks for the sub, guys. Yeah, I've hit f over 520 subs now. I'm well chuffed. Thank you all so much to the people that have uh, subbed to me. Yeah, I decided to do a wish list because everyone's going down the... Um, what's it called route, aren't they? The... Um, oh, what's it fucking called? The... Um, everyone's going down the um, Patreon route and PayPal and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. I just want to uh, put, you know, yeah, Patreon and stuff. I don't, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. 
at least with a wish list I can put cheapy things on there um, from next door eh, don't confuse me my bra it's Sunday my brain's not awake mate <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, so that's it. But I start work in the new shop next week. I can't wait. New vape shop. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for it. Can't wait really looking forward to it hate not working I'm going to start moving stock in next week um, should be open towards the end of the week hopefully it looks very swish thank you Henny Pardon me, burping away. Double bacon cheeseburger. Oh, hello, mate. How you doing, buddy? You should have just turned around and said who you fucking were. <laughs> Is the shop still open? Or not? Are you still doing it, or have you closed it down, mate? Oh, now I want one of your bacon double cheeseburgers, you bastard. There you go. There is um, my counter going in. That I will be serving from. Yeah. So there we go. Oh, no, Bunny, you've never tried it. Alfie's Burgers. Alfie's Burgers are awesome. Alfie makes the best fucking burgers ever. And I mean that. Fucking stunning. And... Um, chips and cheese with sriracha, sriracha sauce on oh. <laughs> yeah man nice thing we haven't, done, we haven't actually had to do much to it because the shop was already like that anyway with all the wood on the wall and everything and stuff like that it was just literally put a counter and put some shelves up those shelves are going uh, got some wood ones to match the rest of it like, but yeah yeah his, his burgers are the best his burgers are the best. <laughs> so what do we all know, guys? What have I got coming up for review? I've got part three of the Wyatt Squad. Wyatt Squad. Riot Squad coming up. Uh, when I can find the third bottle, because I've lost the bottle. Um, that's going to be Tropical Fury, Strawberry Cream, and what is it? Smashed Apple Pie. Uh, I've got a load of juice to do. Um, I've got a load of juice to do for Steamworks. I've got a range of juice from wherever it's fucking gone here. Um, where are they from? They are from something. Vape Dodo. Oh, you closed it. Gutted, mate. Gutted, bud. It's a shame. He he did have he did make brilliant food. You should open a big American diner, mate. People love that shit. Themed restaurant, mate. You know, you look how much money things like Benny and Jerry's fucking make and, um, what's it called? Where did we go last night? Um, something and squirrels, something. I uh, can't remember now. Is it Ben and Jerry's? No, it's not Ben and Jerry's. It's next to the cinema in Carmarthen. I can't remember what it's fucking called. You know, they love all that theme shit. Do a theme restaurant, mate. Because you're bloody good at your food. But yeah, that mod's fixed. He's going to be happy. Jobs are good. Frankie and Benny's, that's the fucking one. <laughs> Frankie and Benny's. That's the one I was thinking of. Couldn't think of the fucking name of it then. <laughs> Could not think. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I went to cinema last night, mate. See um, Kingsman 2 again. I didn't think the food was. I didn't think the food was that expensive there today. Mind you, you get discounts on the app, so you get like twenty five percent off. You get fifty percent off burgers and stuff like that, which helps. So if you all have burgers, you got half price menu, haven't you? I had um, I had steak and chips with mushrooms and peppercorn sauce. It was bloody lovely. Yeah, pretty much. cracking film mate as good as the first one and Elton John is fucking hysterical in it fuck off out my room <laughs> cracking film mate thoroughly enjoyed it John made that film. Fucking crocky. So that can get packaged up, ready to get posted to him tomorrow. That a really good film. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, anyone seen any nice new shinies they fancy then? second wake tank on the way yeah there's going to be plenty of goodies at expo oh th that's what I really want to see is that Blade Runner I need to buy the original one and watch it again and then go and see Blade Runner it looks freaking awesome the other one I want to see is that Ghost in the Shell yeah what's that Blade Runner like I've got mixed feelings about it because it's a remake in it well it's not a remake it's a follow on isn't it Yeah, the love one. The first one was a classic. First one was absolute classic. Yeah, it will be a long film. They always are, aren't they? They always are.
Yeah, that's nothing. Can't be any worse than sitting through friggin' that crappy film, those crappy films with the fucking, oh, what was it called? Fucking hobbits and shit. Just like, <gasps> yawn. I'm tired now. I want to go sleep. <laughs> There we go, anyway, that's repaired. That's what I thought I'd do alive. Why the fuck not, innit, you know? No. Yeah. I mean, beautifully done films, special effects, everything fantastic, but, oh. I'd rather watch paint dry. I'd rather watch paint dry. Beautifully done, beautifully filmed, beautifully written, but uh, uh, like watching paint dry. <laughs> Tastes like watching paint dry. Oh, yes. So yes, yeah, so I've got all those juices to do. I've got the trumpet stuff to do. I've got Heisey Heisenberg juice to do. I've got some poofy liquid to do. Um, not much on the hardware front. Yeah, books are usually better than the films. I've read the books. I think everyone's read The Hobbit. Everyone's read The Hobbit. Everyone's read The Hobbit. Where are all the no frills bottles hiding? FYI, pear cake needs more pear. <laughs> Yeah, should do. Yeah, that reminds me. I might check the uh, check the tracking on that actually. Oh yeah, I've got a Boreas on the way to Boreas. Boreas. They put give these things such weird names. Let's have a look. So we can find the tracking. Bum 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 bum. Go. Tracking number seventeen track seventeen track dot net. It takes a whack anyway because it's uh, it just tastes like um, cake at the minute. There's no pear to it. I've got some pear concentrate somewhere, I'll have to dump some in it, try it. It's six milligram anyway, so it get, my throat gets a whack no matter what. Tracky translate English. In Beijing, leaving Beijing to London Heathrow Airport Hub. Alright, let's try Royal Mail, see if their tracking's any better. Sometimes Royal Mail tracking is a bit better. International tracked. Nothing on there. There we are. Should be here next week. Oh, it's been steeping a while. I got gifted it. I think Tetley sent it me. Someone sent someone sent it me. They weren't keen. Or was it Andy Summerfield? It's bloody nice though, mate. It's bloody nice though. If you do want any reviews, I've got a bit of a thing like, yeah, this this has been steeping a while. Look at the colour on that. Six milligram seventy thirty. Smells nice though. Does smell nice though. That's the pistachio ice cream. That one. It's 
someone didn't someone wasn't keen on it so they sent it me to try so no frills mills <laughs> nice one Jesse give us a sub mate everyone sub if you haven't subbed give us a sub and a like don't forget to smash the like button <laughs> I always leave mine to sleep at least two weeks before I start a bottle then I vape it less than 10 mils away cool I'll say I've got um, what have I got in it at the minute I've got um, I'm I've, like I say, I've been I've been hammering the the pair one. The pair one's quite nice. I quite like it. it. Just needs a bit more pair for me. Um, but then again, it's six milligrams, so in three milligram it might be a bit more uh, scriffly, like you know. Back to my favourite mod. I fucking love this mod. The Avaya sixty six. Lovely little mod. Some six milligram Yalik Turkish in there. Oof. It's good stuff. I'm gonna have to order a big bottle of that. It's nice. Oh, what else new goodies I picked up recently? Yeah, it's very well steeped. <laughs> oh, Haku, nice. I killed at least 20 mils in 6 hours at a whopping 23 watts. Yeah. Could you suggest a decent budget single battery mech mod? Maybe a squonker as well. I think you mentioned a copper vape last week. The copper vape's okay. Uh, if you don't want um, a squonker, the Tsunami kit is really nice. I got this the other day. Really nice. Um, really nice bit of kit. Um, squonker, squonker. Do you want a mech one? Uh, Max Squonker, the Copper Vape's okay. I I wouldn't recommend it because it is a bit because it's all metal. It's a bit. Mm. Uh, Vandy Vapor bringing some stuff out. I'm getting them in for the shop next week, so I'll let you know what they're like at some point. Um, single Mac mods, Squonkers. Mm, there's not many. There's a few out there, but um, if you want to build one, get you, if you want to spend money, get yourself. Um, over to Darwin Mods discussion group on Facebook and he's got some Stabwood Squonkers um, the Stabwood version of these going up going live tonight on his website at 6pm GMT he's got the Stabwood ones of those they're a nice little mod not designed for super low ohms they're designed for flavour you know like 0.5 ohm above um, to give you a nice flavour vape but oh gorgeous little thing Pulsar Athena, yeah. See, I've not had one in my hand. They both look very nice. Uh, personally, I prefer the look of the Athena, but the Pulse looks nice as well. Um, if you want something tasty in Stabwood, go and check out uh, Darwin Mods discussion group. Also, Rock Mods do some bloody gorgeous stuff. Um, yeah, I was just going to say about that. Mark Todd's doing um, one for under so much price, yeah. Yeah, there's not many regulated squonkers out, mate. How are you getting on with the uh, Wrath, mate? Are you loving it? I love the Wrath. Right, don't, for fuck's sake, don't buy the, um, oh, I'm not keen on it, the uh, Watofo one, the Ram. It's a bit, not. it's not the greatest thing because it's got that bit of wire in it. Um, <coughs> it's not the greatest thing. Uh from that point of view but yeah the Athena and, the, and that look quite nice the Athena and or the Pulse 
The only regulated squonker I've got is this bad boy. The old Halicean, but you can't get hold of these, they're like rocking or shit now. Yeah, it's not my RAM, I sent it back, mate. Someone uh, someone lent it me. I like the RAF. If you want to get one for a laugh, it's not a mech, it's a regulated. Get a RAF. Get a Wraith. The Wraith 2's out now. So they're going to be cheap. Welcome, mate. Very much welcome. Oh, I hate all that going into doing the X1 malarkey. Why can't they just say, buy some? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the H cigar. The, there's a good one. But it's not. It's a regulated. I like the H cigar. Just don't get the kit because the drip is shit. Uh, try to steer clear of all the Chinese cloning stuff because a lot of it's shit. Drip bomb 160 for regulate nothing. But, yeah, they work fine. Yeah. Tell you what is a cracker, guys. Pico squeeze. It's fucking dirt cheap. Pico squeeze for the win. Yeah, the rafts are lovely. Little my battery life shock shocking on it, but the dripper that comes with it isn't good. But the actual mods all right, as long as you use um, you know the right stuff. Oh, that's a shitter. <coughs> <coughs> I'll wait till the clone comes out then. At least you can buy them without having to fucking sit in a list. <laughs> Got this the other day as well. Oh, it's very pretty. Needs a bloody good polish, mine. Yeah, if you if you want a good, because technically in a way it's a mech. It's not really regulated. It's designed for low. It's designed for high wattage. Uh, mid-range uh, sub own builds but it's a cracking little mod if you want a cheapie what are they like 20 quid now something daft like that they're, they're dirt cheap and, it, and the beauty is it doesn't matter if you fucking lose it the dripper that comes with it is fucking shocking though <laughs> it really is shocking uh, 20 30 quid you're looking at for one of them for the setup pico squeeze I'd stay clear of Amazon. They're about between 20 and 30 quid for the kit. The dripper shit. The dripper shit. You're just a fussy get Andy. <laughs> I found it perfectly acceptable. You set it what you want it, and away you go. You set your presets up what you want it, and away you go. The dripper's not bad on it, but for what it is, and the price it is, it's a cracking mod. Right, I'm going to have to go in a second, because I'm going to go shopping and stuff. So I shall catch you on the next one. So see you on the next review. Um, and that's it. So yeah. So I shall see you all next time, and uh, see you later. To the pips. See you Tuesday six to eight over on VUKN dot live for the show. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Troll.